You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Hexbug for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. And thanks to Hexbug for sending me this set to check out with you on video today. So thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to learn more about this. Now, they sent me some other sets and I thought it'd be fun at the end of this video to show you two more sets that you can pick from and those will be the order in which I will make them in a future video. All right, so battle strategy kit is what I have here. I got to choose my armor. There are three gladiators plus the stadium. It looks like it's gonna be pretty fun to let them go and battle it out. I'll put more information in the description area, of course, so that you can check it out there. Not much on the sides, not much on the top. So let's get right into it here. Forged from the world's mightiest titans comes Hexbug Gladiators. Combative robots you can customize with detachable armor. Before going into battle, these supercharged vibrating robots feature snap-on weaponry, mix and match a winning combination of armor to become the ultimate fighter. All right, that sounds exciting. Luminon is one of the ones we have out of the three gladiators. Premathor or Promathor, and then Hermitech. All right, and then they show you a little picture where you customize and all the little pieces can be moved around here. Easily snap on and off here. Can you create a winning strategy? Go head to head in an effort to knock your opponent off the platform. And at the bottom is a collect them all. And then it lists a whole bunch down there that are probably available as gladiators in other sets, maybe individual packs. I don't know. But what I do know is I can put some information in the description and that'll clear all that up. All right. I'm going to come back now with this out of the box, or at least partially out, so we can check out all the pieces. All right, here we go. I always enjoy lots of pieces. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Some of these bags are easy to get into. Some of them are not, but there we go. Look at that. This is one of those old-school unboxings. Ooh, my first Gladiator. Pretty cool. Okay, more of my... Battle Arena here. All right, so there's one centerpiece. It looks like three side pieces. Where's my other little gladiators? Okay, there's gladiator number two. There's some accessories. Oh, gladiator number one. Oh, oh, yep, here we go. Instructions of sorts. And then gladiator number one is fixed on the inside of the box. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get them out with much, without much damage to my packaging. I'm gonna have to go in from this side as well. It's always fun to open up boxes and, oh, there's something hiding. This was hiding underneath. Okay, that's good I opened up the bottom. I would have never seen it in there until I was probably checking the parts list going, hmm, what am I missing? What am I missing? I'm missing something. Okay, here's that piece I need, see that? So now I should be able to get it out of there. Ooh, hopefully it just pulls out. Oh, it's got a little band around it. Do you hear that? That's the little, those little clear rubber bands. Okay, there we go. And then all of his accessories are neatly packed in there. Let's see. Yep, they just pop right out. Okay, so I guess those are this Gladiator's accessories. The purple would go with this Gladiator. And so on and so forth. My curiosity now is, are they the same accessories or are they somewhat different? I don't know. Curious Gladiators want to know. Right, we'll take a closer look at the Gladiators themselves. We won't turn any on, but we'll... Keep these parts separate. Looks like the white guy gets the almost like off whitish, but he's got one orange piece. I don't know if it's his or not. Oh, cool. Look at this little spinny chopping wheels. I love anything Hexbug. You know, I have a massive collection. All right, so let's do this. Let's take this off. Okay, so here's orange. Here is the tinted, and then here is the 
stuff for this guy here in the purple. All right, I think that should have gone with this. I'm just assuming the way they maybe packaged it, they couldn't put that orange piece with that. It needs to go with this. These so two, four, wait, two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, two, four, six, seven. Hmm. Okay, I'll figure that out as I go along here. I'll be right back and read over some things and get this set up. All right, here we go. I have checked over the instruction sheet on setting this up, so that's what you get. And a couple things, well, it is not like a hex plug that you would normally connect in that way where it, it's top to bottom where you push them and slide them in place. This is more just like a clip-in track. A little bit different than you're probably used to with hex plug, right? Okay, so once you get this done, look pretty simple after this as well. All right, that's all clipped in. And then now there's these special little clips that are going to hold the different uh, section together and the legs in place. There is a top and then a bottom. You'll see the bottom has the little ridges in it. Those are the ones that clip in like that. Okay. So if that helps anybody, I hope it does. That's what I've learned. Okay. And then same thing with these. You'll see that this is the bottom. And I will now clip it like this. Oh, like this. And that's basically holding the arena together. Does that make sense? Oh, there we go. Like this, like this. There's a little thought process there. And then this last one, like this, like this. And that is part one of getting your arena set. That's all clipped in. Now you get six legs, and they're pretty neat. They almost look like robot legs, and they clip into these outer three. Okay. And then there's three on the intersection. One, two, and three. Okay. Now that's that. That's set. It almost looks like a big bug in itself, doesn't it? All right. So I have not officially decided why that one orange piece was in the other hex bug, but check it out now. You have options. Not everything, I noticed, I was testing some stuff. I'll just show you this guy for sure. Now you have these two side plates. So I guess, technically speaking, you only have to put one on, but you could put a second one on. You, I guess you could add these to one side, depending on maybe how you think your hex bug is gonna be battling. It's really up to you. That's why they say mix and match. And it looks like anything will fit. But for looks, I guess if you're going for, I want the coolest looking one, uh, you can do this. And then he's got his little bug-like appendage, and you could put one of these in the back. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now, they're bigger than a regular hex bug. You should be able to kind of see it's like a half size bigger, different shape, different leg configuration. There's just, uh, two, four, six, eight legs there on that. Okay, totally different. And then this one. That's why I'm still confused about this. I'm going to put that with that. I think it'd be better to have it there. This one's pretty neat now. You have this crossbar with these spinny wheels. Now, it really isn't what I was able to tell just by quick looking. Because there's this upper piece here, it does not fit there. So you could put it here. Okay. And then that's if you don't want to use your side pieces because then these don't necessarily fit on but you can put this here you can configure this with the side piece if you want and then this other obscure looking side piece whoa popped out and then this also spins see that so you can pretty much configure these however you want we'll have to experiment with that in battle so if you want to even it out then i guess you would put this here and then this one here. I guess I'll just set these up like I would if I was going to be fighting them standard like that. To me, that's standard, don't you think? I got a nice little tray for the two. Okay. Now this guy, 
doesn't have matching side pieces besides these. You could put one of these here, one of these here, and then you can give them a front. And from the back, it's really up to you. You could do that. And then this one looks like it will cross over. But I want to leave that one out. I think I want something that's going to maybe drag or push. Ooh, it doesn't fit on that side. Oh, it's got to cross over. Okay. There. I think that's going to be my first battle. Now it's whoever gets pushed out, right? So I'm guessing, let's see if there's any official rules here. Oh, I'm going to have to change my camera anyway. All right, I'm going to check. I don't think there's any official rules. It just says flip over to battle. But let's say three people. They're each starting your, on your side, right? And then they're going to come in and see who gets pushed out. All right, I will be right back. I'm going to raise my camera so we get a better look. And we are going to battle. Cue the battle music. Okay, here we go. I switched a few pieces around just for fun. I don't know why. I just wanted to do it. Actually, I dropped this guy and then my piece fell off, so I changed him around. It was hard to tell exactly what was the front, but it's the side opposite the screw. That is the forward side. It's not necessarily the skinnier side. You'll see here. I'll turn this guy on. He's going to want to go that way. Okay. And then this one here, he's going to want to do the same thing. How cool is this? Now here's what we'll do. I'm just gonna let them go. If they fall out, ooh, look at that guy. If they fall out, I will leave them off to the side until one is still standing. Then I'm gonna leave that one's armor the way it is, and I'll switch out uh, other two with their armor. All right, so I'm gonna turn them all on. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Purple out. Orange out. Okay, so this is the sole survivor right now. So let's bring in some pieces here. Let's switch out this front piece with this on this guy. I'll let these two go at it. Ooh, check it out. And then we're going to take this bar. Oh, oh, great guy still winning. We're going to set the bar going across. And the two spikes on the side. Oh, it won't let me do that spike. Here, I'll do it on the. Okay, no, I think I got to do it. Oh, it's got to go across. It's a bar. I'm not paying attention. And it, it kind of. Oh, they won't work on that. All right, so that one works there, and this one works there. All right, that's a unique looking one there. Okay, let's see if he can battle him now. Wow, that orange one just likes to drive off himself. He doesn't need anybody help. Okay, now they're battling it out. Who's going to win? Who is going to win? Okay. Orange guy now takes over. I do want to get that one spinny bar on this one. This looks pretty cool. Ooh, look at that. Oh, he broke right off. All right, you want to stay down backwards? Go ahead. Upside down, I mean. All right, so I'm gonna switch the front on this. Go with this. Move these out on this. Put this back on. Oh! Come on, fellas. Bail it out. Boy, fresh batteries, I wonder. They're just ready to go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, he pushed them both out. Did you see that? Oh, Mr. Aggressive, get back here. Now I was just wondering, is it possible to make it easier on me and see if we could pull this apart? I wonder if you could just put a double and not have it a, a triple arena like this. Hmm. And then how will it stand? You'd have to put in another like this or take this one here. I mean, they have slots for it. Put this in here. Looks like it'll work. Oh, I'm crushing that. And then I'll still need this to hold this. Okay, I will say they are really aggressive. And they don't want to stay on. Okay, so now I have just a double. Let's see if they stay on now. Make it easier, we'll see. Easier for me. Oh, it goes right off. Come on, buddy. There you go. Okay, what happened over here now? The gray guy's got some of the best, or the white one has some of the best accessories with those little spinny pieces. Oh, fell right off. Uh-oh, gonna lose him. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, just by default. Let's put nothing on it. Oh, it flies right off. He just drives right off. There you go, buddy. Ah, now we got a battle. Who shall win? Ooh, we almost pushed him right out. Ooh, almost. Oh, man. There they are fighting it out. Oh. This guy seems to be the best. Get up there. Almost pushed him. Oh, almost again. Oh, finally, the victor. All right, I need to find some pieces. Let me reset up the big set and come right back. All right, here we go. I have set them up. Now, this one I really set up kind of different because I took the side pieces, which kind of go here, and I did that. So that kind of widens him a little bit. He tends to want to just go off the platform. I think I need to wear him out a little bit in these battles. Here we go, number two and number three. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. It beefed him up a little. Oh, it's a battle in the middle. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? They are twisting and turning. They are dancing in the middle of the arena. Oh, they're apart now. Oh yes. Orange guy falls apart. White guy. And the gray takes, oh, he just drives right off. Great victory lap there. Let's do that one again. All right, so that worked out pretty good. It kept the orange guy. I wonder if I get some weight on him. That might help him stay in. There we go. I'll just put them all right here and go. Oh, orange guy out. Oh, it's between these two now. Oh. And the gray white guy, he falls right out. Oh, and they all fall out. And they all just take a dive. Now they will lose pieces, because that's what it's all about, knocking them apart and making things fall off. Let's put this on the back now. Oh, you can't. See, they have this little hump piece here. Let's do what we did to the other guy and get this, these pieces that would normally are for the side. I put like that, look at that. That really messes it up. Okay, check that out. It's like a fortress now. Here we go, here we go. And action. 
they should really come at each other from the points, but it's hard doing it by myself. Okay, these two again. Oh, pushed him right out. That was a good battle. All right, now take your victory lap without falling off the edge there, would you? Good job. Good job, Hexbug. All right, we'll call him Gladiator tips himself over. All right, there you go. I think what I'll do is I'll just get a few more fun camera angles and battle around. Now that I've at least set it up, real easy to do. Fun to play with. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun with this set. Now, do you want to see what other two sets I have? Here, I'll bring those in first, and then I'll just run some video of these battling out. I'll be right back. All right, set number one. Do you want to see this one? BattleBots Arena. Now, I've been wanting to try this one for a while. I'm glad they sent that one to me. And then the Battleground with the Tarantulas. Now, I have other sets of this, so I might be able to combine a couple of these sets and have a big battle. So let me know. Do you want to see the Bunker set? or the battle bots. I'll put a poll up. So when I come back then, it's just gonna be the gladiators fighting it out, different camera angles, I'll have a little fun. And thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of the video.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.